be making basics. What's good, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up and leave a comment on the video. So look, today we're going to be covering how to make dope transitions using snare rolls. All right. Now, I'm actually going to be doing this um, on the beat that we did the other day. This is a switch up beat. And I'm going to be showing you how to really take the beat to another level just by using snare rolls and adding that snare element um, in there as far as the transition. So if you're new, let's go ahead and just listen to the beat as it is. I'm going to play the intro, the hook, and a little bit of the verse just to give you a feel for it. And then we're going to jump right into adding the snare rolls and the snare part to make a dope transition uh, between the sections. So let's jump in. All right, y'all, that's that's the beat. That's what we're going to be working with. So now let's go ahead and jump right into adding the snare rolls. First things first, we're going to go ahead and uh, create a new track. I'm going to be using a software instrument track, and I'm actually going to come down here to the quick sampler. Honestly, y'all, the quick sampler is my favorite thing to use, my go-to when it comes to Logic Pro 10. I love it because you could do so much as far as, you know, using samples, creating your own drum drums all different types of stuff but anyway we're gonna go over here to the quick sampler and i already have a snare that i love to use we're gonna bring that in here it's a brick snare y'all know anything about bricks domain he has his dope drum packs and stuff like that but we're gonna be using his snare and um i'm gonna go ahead and pull up musical typing just so you can see what i'm doing here and we're gonna go from there but so what i'm gonna do is First, I'm just gonna, I feel like like through the middle of this uh, hook area, hook, I wanna just add like a dope, like simple pattern and then we'll add the actual roll, snare roll. All right, cool. So first snare roll we're gonna make, um, and first off, actually what I'll do is we're gonna quantitize this. And I could actually just take this uh, snare and I can just move him over here and then like right there. We can put them on different places throughout the beat. It's a basic snare pattern and even, you know, matter of fact, we won't do it like that. But we'll open this up right here. And what we want to do is zoom right on into um, where we're going to be doing the snare roll. It's going to be a short snare roll for the, for the uh, hook. And then we're going to do a snare roll right here before the hook comes in. So the best thing to do is to create a loop like right there, like one one bar where you're going to be doing a snare roll. And you can kind of listen to it and just kind of like hear it in your head. And I want to do a simple snare roll on the actual hook. So to, so to draw these in, I'm just going to click, click one of my snares and it's going to basically copy the length and everything of that and then I'll just start drawing it in by holding down command. And what I'll do, the first two notes, I'm going to make those uh, like speed those up. And so basically, as you saw, I just highlighted it and just, you know, shortened them. And I'm holding down option and dragging those notes over so to create that, that that pattern right there. So this is what we'll do. All right, so that's done. Now all we got to do, that's the transition that we're going to be putting before uh, the hook goes into the verses. So we'll just take this snare and we're going to just drag them over here to each hook part. And now you're going to have a perfect snare row transition to the next uh, part of the beat. Now the other snare row we want to do is going to be um, right before the hook. Okay, so what I'll do is same 
same type of thing. I'm going to come in here. Actually, we're going to go two bars on the loop just so we can kind of really get a good snare roll here. This is going to be like a more in-depth snare roll, you know what I mean? So uh, let's, let's listen to it. So I probably just delete that, those two, and give like something like, you know what I'm saying? Something crazy. And, you know, you want to just sound it out in your head. Like, what do you want it to do? You know, whatever you want to do, you can just pretty much draw it in here by shortening the notes, moving them around, like extending the notes, moving them around. And you can also do a trick here. Like, you don't have to necessarily always just sit here and draw each one in. If you already have a snare roll that you like, you can just highlight it like that, hold down option, and then drag it somewhere else. And we can come over here and add a little bit more variation on this. All right, cool. And Honestly, you don't have to. It doesn't have to be so crazy of a snare roll, you know. That was that's good enough. You feel me? And um, what you could do now is we'll just zoom out. And all I did is hold down Option and then scroll left or right on my actual Apple mouse, and I can just delete all the snare patterns right before the hook. So this is the hook. We don't have to delete this because this is one we're gonna use. Delete that one, and then I'm just gonna drag this over to each of those other parts. Holding down option, then release it. Hold down option, and then release it. And now the whole beat has a whole nother element that takes the beat up to another level. You know, you had that snare part that comes in with a snare roll, helps with the uh, transitions, and it really brings the beat home. So what I'll do here is I'm actually going to uh, just roll off a little bit of those uh, or take out some of those uh, lows on that snare. And then I'm just going to let y'all listen to the beat, probably from like the intro to hook all the way into the next hook, just so you can kind of really get the vibe of this. So let's go ahead and jump in. And as you can see, man, that just adds just an extra little oomph to the beat that this is just going to take it to the next level just by adding the snare and snare rolls um, to create transitions between the different sections of your beat. Thank you all so much for watching. By the way, you can go and listen to this beat or at least it on my beat site. 
ukayabeats.com link in the description make sure y'all grab that free course also i'm gonna be updating my beatmakingbasics.com website i'll have courses for you to buy um you know a whole lot of different services you'll be able to collab with me um i'll be able you'll be able to book like a one-on-one -on -one session with me like if you want to just actually talk face to face to face with me so that will be up pretty sh uh, shortly and i also will do like some beat mixing um services as well so like say if you don't want to fumble around with mixing your beats you can you know book me to mix your beats for you but i'll have all that updated um probably by the end of the weekend man or by the weekend so make sure y'all uh check that those new advancements out coming very soon thank you so much uh, for watching make sure you're subscribed if you don't already have uh if you're not already subscribed to my channel make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like the video and leave me a comment i try to respond to all my comments so anyway peace love y'all till the next one